everybody and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review and in today's video we'll be discussing the expansion to Good Cop Bad Cop. This one's called Promoted and in the Promoted expansion if you're playing with it it's gonna need four to eight players. It'll take longer than a basic game because you'll be playing five rounds of a basic game so it should take about an hour, hour and a half to play and it's for ages 12 and up. And in the game Good Cop Bad Cop it is a team based deduction style game. You'll be playing as the good cops or as the bad cops. You're attempting to shoot one of the other team's leaders and attempting to score points throughout the game. Now the expansion, if you've already understand the base game, is going to include things like promotion cards that will let you play with these cards throughout the rounds for the entire game. It'll also include additional equipment cards, so there's going to be definitely equipment cards that come in the base game, but there's going to be more in this one. Additionally there will be medals, which you can earn through either successfully completing a mission or if you're the leader of that mission you can give out a medal to somebody else and you're going to be getting a promotion card. These things here tell you when you get promoted and tell you how many points that you roughly have and of course only you know your exact points but other players will have an idea based on the amount of medals you have. Uh, and that's pretty much what the game comes with. We'll talk about it down below. I'll show you what the components are for the base game and for the expansion. I won't go into the full rules for the base game, but I will discuss most of the expansion content. Then we'll come up and I'll discuss my review of the expanded promoted game for Good Cop, Bad Cop. And you can go ahead and hit the description down below and decide if you want to pick this game up currently on Kickstarter. So here is the Good Cop, Bad Cop base game with the new box set and the pull the pin insert, which is pretty cool. It pops off this little sleeve here and then has the magnetized locking system. So if you haven't seen the new one, if you have the older style game, this is the newer, more standardized box. And it also says the name of the game here. So a lot of the new pull the pin models are actually going to look like this, but have a unique game name here on the side here. Kind of wish it was actually on one of these other sides as well. So I can set it up like a library if I didn't want to use the sleeve, but because of that, I just simply use the sleeve and it lets me pull the pin whenever I want to play good cop, bad cop. This is the expansion. It is a prototype and expect it to be different, I imagine, than, um, than this. Maybe it'll go into the base game. I'm not exactly sure. But for me, I'll be putting all of this into my base game copy because, well, this is a prototype box. But regardless, it looks really nice for a prototype and even says right there on the box. On this side of the board, these guys over here are going to be the base game stuff. And over here is the promoted expansion content. So in the base game, you're going to be getting these guns here, which have little stands that will stand up. You're going to be getting this uh, lead investigator token or tile that we'll basically place up next to the lead investigator and it tells you how to take a turn, the rules and wounded cards. And because leaders are going to get wounded in the game, you have the integrity cards here to determine whether you're going to be a crooked or an honest cop or whether you're going to be the honest agent leader. So it's going to be the leader for the blue team or whether you're going to be the the leader for the crooked team which is the kingpin here and then equipment cards these are cards you're going to gain throughout the game and use them to your advantage to stop yourself from being removed or to protect your leader the most important thing in the game now this is the promoted expansion and as you know i told you before that comes with a bunch of new equipment cards i won't go through all of them but i'll talk about a few of them let you choose two other players to draw equipment which is pretty nice uh, choose any other players to hide and shuffle their integrity cards and then there's also one that which talks about these little guys here, these medals here. Players can gain these when you, you draw them from this deck here. You just simply draw these and shuffle these into this equipment card deck for the entire game. This is the promoted card deck. Now, these things here are cards that are going to last throughout the entire length of the game, which is going to be five rounds. And you'll be using these little tokens to determine to place out the game length. And it'll tell you how many tokens players are going to get. And at the end of each round, this is how you're going to decide that. It'll also let you flip it over, suggesting that you flipped over round one. So you're done with round one or three, game one. And then you're done with game two and game three and so on and so forth. So it's a nice little round tracker and it also tells you what medals you'll be giving out or getting for winning the round. These are the medals, and these medals all have a front and a back side, and they're going to be either one, two, or I believe even possibly three points, and you're going to start with them all face down. Maybe they're all just two points, but you're trying to get as many points as you possibly can. So when you play a round of good cop, bad cop, you're going to be getting one of these tokens if you are successful. So if your team is successful, you'll get one of these and place it on your board here, and then the leader 
of that game, so if I was the blue team leader and the blue team won, all of my blue team would get one of these medals, and as the leader, I would take one of these randomly, obviously without looking at them because they're all face down, and I would give it to one single player of my choice. That isn't me, unfortunately. And in general, hopefully you're going to select a player who's probably not on your team who doesn't have a medal, which is a nice way of balancing out the game, giving people that have lost a chance to come back. Flip over the game tile and go on to the next game, and you're simply playing good cop, bad cop. Now, the unique thing about this one here, like I said before, is the promotions, in which whenever you get promoted, which will be on one, three, or five medals, so after you win your first round or receive your first badge, you'll get one specific random promotion. You'll draw three cards from this deck, you'll flip them over, you'll look at them, and you'll determine what one you want to place in front of you to keep throughout the entire game. Maybe you want to shoot, but give your gun to another player instead of dropping it. Oh, that is so good. Uh, or inspect inspector, investigate any two players. Or trade your equipment for another player's gun. <laughs> Fairly useful, but you only get one of these, and the rest of them you just go ahead and put back on the bottom of the deck. And so people are going to get promoted throughout the entire game, allowing more and more promotions to change your actions and abilities. And in general, your actions and whatnot are going to be investigating, allowing you to look at players' integrity to see if they're maybe the kingpin or an, an honest cop. Or they're going to equip certain things, like uh, they're going to equip their little equipment cards, basically letting them play certain cards or draw certain certain cards. You're going to let them arm themselves, picking up these guns, pointing it at somebody, and then potentially choosing to shoot them, which will drop their gun, generally speaking, and remove that player from the game as long as they aren't the leader. And that's pretty much the style of the game. Now, like I said, the promotion expansion just includes five games as opposed to just the single good cop, bad cop game. And because these games are quick, you can play them and you generally want to play more than one round anyway. It includes these medals, which will allow you to change the game up every single time as you get promoted and you promote yourself by choosing at these specific points in the game to get unique abilities. And then, of course, just adding new equipment cards to the game is always a nice thing. And that is pretty much it for good cop. Backup. If you want to learn the basic rules for the game, I'm sure there's tons of videos out there. This game has been heralded by the Dice Tower. It's gotten the Golden Geek Award, and it's got the Best Party Game Award. It actually has a lot of these rewards on it. it. tells you how well it did, and even on the Kickstarter campaign, you can see as well. So there's plenty of ways. And this game is very highly lauded for the base game itself. So let's discuss the expansion. So do I have any caveats? And actually, not, not really. Uh, I didn't explain the game fully as to how you play and how you set up and whatnot, but that's because this game has a ton of great videos out there to do that and I just wanted to get into the review of this game to let you know whether you want to pick this game up or not and let's talk about good cop bad cop just a little bit though as to what I think about the game so I don't think I've actually reviewed good cop bad cop I have reviewed a lot of games that are similar to good cop bad cop because they've made some different variants of the game and uh, the leaders, I think the leaders of Euphoria as well, which is the bigger version of the game. This is kind of more of the condensed sized, um, uh, uh, cost efficient mode to get the game or play the game. Uh, this is a great game. This is a lot of fun. It is the first team based deduction style game I had played and it is a favorite. It plays really, really quick. It can play anywhere from up to about five minutes to potentially even about 20 minutes per game. It really just depends on how sneaky players are and what type of equipment they get and who they choose to eliminate throughout the game. This game does have elimination, but because it's so quick, once one player is eliminated, it's going to move the game along quite steadily until eventually the game will end, in which case you'll just want to play another game. I've never actually played a game of Good Cop, Bad Cop and not played another game right after in subsequent... Sub subsequential? order. And so with the expansion promoted, it plays five rounds of good cop, bad cop, which I like. I think that's probably just about enough of how much I'd want to play good cop, bad cop in any specific sitting, but it's also not, not the less than I'd want to play, you know? So it's not like two rounds. I'd probably want to play at least three rounds. And in this case, it gives you five, which is nice. And what's also nice about this expansion is players are going to get these little promotion cards, which will let you know when you get these medals, when you get to be promoted and you'll get to choose a specific promotion cards that give you unique twists to your abilities throughout the game. 
Now the base game provides the equipment cards, which is a nice way to kind of mix and match how the game is played, but the actions and abilities stay the same for the most part. These things change you as a specific character or player throughout the game, which is a nice way of trying to, try, try, trying to add a new twist to the game. Something you might not think about, which is a player who is highly promoted and has a lot of good abilities, you might want to actually switch integrity cards uh, to get them on your team because it is going to be beneficial for you to be on that player's team because winners are going to get medals and the leader of the winners will give out a medal. Uh, now the medals themselves and the scoring of the points throughout the game are about as relevant to me as winning the base game not very relevant at all. I personally don't see, it doesn't really matter who wins this game in my opinion, like that's not the point of playing the game. It's the social aspect, it's the conniving and twisting and treachery and whatnot. So the point system at the end of the game is just kind of a nice like throw in. Realistically, if you lost the entire game all the way through, it's still possible for you to win this game. Because generally speaking, when you're the leader and you're giving out those extra medals, and you don't want to give it to your team, right? You want to give it to the player who has the least amount of medals because you want to be as high as you possibly can. But because the medals are random, you might be getting one or two points every single medal. There's no way of knowing if you're in the lead or not unless you've got all twos, in which case you're fairly highly likely to win. But in general, you always want to give medals to the player who's at last. That way it pushes them up and keeps you as in front of the game as you possibly can be. But the promotions are really what make the game shine. Being able to change an ability to make it a little bit stronger is really cool. All of the artwork feels just like the base game. The game itself doesn't change enough to be too complex or too much of anything. And it's not just more good cop, bad cop. Yes, it comes with more good cop, bad cop, which are these equipment cards, but it adds the twist of changing how your characters feel throughout the game and making those characters change and how they feel is a nice way of changing how you want to play the game based on every single time you go throughout the game. Regardless, I would always like to keep the promotion deck included in the base game just because it adds that unique intrigue as to changing how the game works, but the metal system is just a nice way of being able to promote oneself, and if you really want to uh, have a winner at the end of the game, then that's also a nice way of just flipping over your tokens at the end and just seeing who is the winner. Regardless though, this game is a lot of fun. It's it's high quality, it's quick, it's easy to explain, and it is easy to play. This is a great gateway game for people who like trader style games and want to teach somebody new. Uh, people who are in a, uh, they, they like the werewolf and whatnot, but they want to play something a little more condensed, and a little bit more strategic than just going ahead and doing things randomly. You have some knowledge in the game, you know what numbers are out there, and it increases based on the number of players. Overall, Good Cop, Bad Cop is an excellent game, and the promoted expansion is great great as well. I give it the excellent, but I still just don't care too much about who wins the game, so the points are just kind of whatever. But I don't think that takes away from the game at all. And if I were you, and I haven't played Good Cop, Bad Cop, I would include both of these games just to give you that player change and difference throughout the game. And if nothing else, I would just want this promotion deck just to make the game unique in different ways. So I can throw these out to each player, two of them maybe, and just play a game of Good Cop, Bad Cop, and it would still be just as much fun. Regardless of what I think, what do you think let me know down below in the comment section and go ahead and check out the description in the in the, the link in the description or you can go ahead and see for yourself if you want to pick up the game good cop bad cop and the promoted expansion and play the game with your friends and family all right it's outro time all right guys thanks for watching another unfiltered gamer board game review if you're interested in picking up the game like i said below link in the description as well as subscribe to the channel go ahead and click the link and link up here or somewhere I don't know wherever it's gonna be and also the notification bell button you can also check out all our stuff at unfilteredgamer.com if you're not already here on YouTube as well as go ahead and check out our live streams every Wednesday at 6 30 p.m. PST we play games just like this one in fact we have played this game on our live stream and we give away games people join the community speaking of that patreon Get on Patreon, you'll be able to choose some of the Cali's Corner videos we've been releasing, as well as you'll be able to see what new live streams we're coming out with, and our specific Patreon-only live streams where we give away games as well, and just play games. If you want to join the community? Go ahead and do so. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching, and as always, I look forward to being the good cop to your bad cop next time. Say bye. Say bye.